Orthographic projection is a method of presenting a 3D object on a 2D plane using two or more views. In orthographic projection, the projectors are perpendicular to plane of projection and parallel to each other. To understand the concept of projection let consider a 3D object placed in front of a lighting source at infinite distance from POP so that the light rays are almost parallel to each other. In orthographic projection light source is replaced by a person who is called an observer looking towards the object. The imaginary parallel lines of sight of observer will create the view of object on plane of projection. The lines of sight are called projection lines or projectors. The view of object is formed on POP when the points of intersection of projectors and POP are joined in proper sequence to form a view of object. Observer, object and plane of projection are three basic elements of orthographic projection. The two planes of projection used for the orthographic projection are called reference planes or principal planes of projection. The vertical plane of projection is denoted as VP the other horizontal plane is denoted as HP. The line of intersection of VP and HP is termed as reference line and is denoted by letters XY. When the planes of projection are extended beyond the line of intersection, they form four quadrants. First quadrant Second quadrant Third quadrant Fourth quadrant the object may be situated in any one of the quadrants. Position of the object relative to the reference planes being described as above the HP or below the HP, in front of VP or behind the VP. Depending on the position of object relative to reference planes, the quadrant in which the object is placed, can be determined. In first quadrant, object is above HP and in front of VP. In second quadrant, object is above HP and behind VP. In third quadrant, object is below HP and behind VP. And in fourth quadrant, object is below HP and in front of VP. To obtain the front view and top view, the vertical reference plane has to be rotated in 90 degree anti-clockwise. Or, Horizontal reference plane in clockwise direction. For first quadrant after rotating HP in clockwise direction or VP in anti-clockwise direction, we get VP and HP in a single plane. VP is above reference line and HP is below reference line. For second quadrant VP and HP will overlap above reference line. So we do not use second angle method of projection. For third quadrant, after revolving the HP or VP, we get HP above the reference line and VP below the reference line. Again for second quadrant, VP and HP will overlap below the reference line. So we do not use fourth angle method of projection. In first angle method of projection, object is placed in first quadrant that is in front of VP and above HP. The object lies between observer and plane of projection. In first angle projection, the top view is below the front view. In third angle method of projection, object is placed in third quadrant that is behind VP and below HP. The plane lies between observer and object. In third angle projection, the top view is above the front view.